What's up guys, here's another story here today, and this story goes back uh, about three or four months ago. And this story is uh, when I, I, I guess when I was going to get a potential date with someone. It didn't quite happen, so, because now I'm just kind of like friends with that person at this point. I, I haven't dated anyone in like eight years or so, so it's, so it's been, it's been a while. It's been been a been a while and my emotions are not like all there you know when it comes to dating or anything like that so I, i'm still kind of trying to figure out my relationships and all that stuff you know i i'm not like anytime rush or anything like that so i am i am patient to getting into a relationship i met this girl kind of through discord and you know she lived in the area i was surprised and and let's just call her uh i don't know sasha or something something like that me and Sasha and my, my other friend met at the house and she was coming over like every every other day you know things were hitting off pretty well and uh there was one weekend that she wasn't working and I was looking forward to it and I was like okay cool we get to get to hang out for the weekend and have a good time right you know I asked her out for boba something small something simple wasn't wasn't I expecting anything big from it what happened was that she said I needed to clean my room and I was like okay cool that's fine no problem no problem with that it led me a little bit suspicious because when she wanted to clean her room I didn't think it would be the whole day I mean I guess you can clean your room and it take the whole day to clean your room I get I guess that happens you know it does it does take the whole day so you know I said okay cool whatever and uh, she said we'll plan something tomorrow sure so we we tried planning something tomorrow. I no, she didn't even write anything. I didn't even get a text from her on Sunday because that was the day like I was supposed to hang out with her, and she would write back, and she didn't. So she just blew me off. And you know, I I sat there in the in the kitchen, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, I want to get a Guinness. You know, I picked the Guinness in the fridge. Asked my friends if they wanted to go to the bar. And I said, hey, let's go to the bar. Because I felt, at that point, I got ghosted, right? You know, you got ghosted in your date. And I I wasn't used to the dating scene yet for a while. So I haven't dated anyone. And I, I really like this girl. But unfortunately, it, the, the the reciprocated feelings do not trend, transcend the other side. So I, I knew at that point it was kind of over. But then I, I could be assuming because, you know, my emotions... Get, tend to be all over the place a lot of the times so i asked my friends to go to the bar but instead we ended up going karaoke because they suggested it. i was already kind of tipsy had some beers in me and i was like yeah that's that sounds uh sounds like a lot of fun so we went to karaoke we spent like two hours karaoke but i remember the people the, the interesting part about this whole thing was that i remember the people at the karaoke place i remember i was drunk and i remember th Three people's name it was vivian zoe and i think the last one was frank i wrote it down somewhere on my computer i don't remember where i put it i, I just remembered those names and i said i'll remember you guys and I i'll probably do it another story on this so and i did and you know we sang sad songs i guess they heard us from the other room singing sad songs i was i think one of the songs was uh I'm a creep and that was the first song I played and they heard us I was like what the heck and I was singing it like my heart's content because I was drunk because I was trying to get over the the pain of this uh, you know being ghosted and you know they came over I gave her I gave Zoe a hug and I was like oh you know thank you Zoe you made my day and you know she brightened my day after you know getting ghosted by a girl when I told her that and then she's like oh it's okay and I'm like yeah it's all <laughs> it's, it's it's fine no worries you know it's like uh, not used to dating the whole dating scene it's funny because my other friend Danny was telling me you know I, it's like he sees this connection I, and I was like yeah whatever because I was coming over she was coming over to the house every every other day and you know I was making those star but Starbucks drinks for for her it, it was uh, one of those interesting things making Starbucks drinks at four in the morning and she would come over because she worked at a night job and I guess she I still kind of talk to her but we're not like friends friends it's more of like acquaintances at this point but at the same time I'm like somehow she was able to like after like not talking to her for like maybe like 
two or three weeks because I was like, you know, I've already moved on at this point, right? I didn't care because I did I did something stupid, right? I, I basically like, you know, deleted her from Discord. I kept, I you know, didn't keep in contact anymore because I knew it was like, for me, I thought it was already over. But my friend invited her to the house on the house, like probably like three weeks later, to see this girl again. I'm like, oh gosh, what, why is she doing here, you know? <laughs> is that she, she was, she was there in front of me again. But this time, as an acquaintance, I was kind of standoffish because I didn't want to get involved or anything like that. You know, kept it friendly, just being nice and everything. So, you know, she took me to Comic Con. It was really cool that she did that. And uh, that was really nice of her, too. And, and she considered me as, like, a close friend. So I knew I was friend-zoned at this point. So I was like, yeah, it's it's fine. It's whatever. Um, it was no, There was no chance. And the other thing that caught me, caught my eye attention, was that she was talking about another guy. And I was like, ah, oh, damn. So she's talking about another guy. I got, basically, I was like, well, she's got our hearts art on this other guy so i'm not gonna even bother at this point because what what's the point you know she's she likes this other guy she met at like you know at a at a party or aka you know like one of those huge parties i'm not gonna say what kind of party it's just a party right you know the event stuff that you go to yeah it's just and the other thing was that she was like being very hot and cold with me she's like very unsure of what how her feelings were you know but but then like it it just at that point she was just talking about the other guy more and more and and then she, she talked about her ex and i was like okay i i realized i i dodged a bullet in a sense i think i did because it seems like red flag you know to me and you know hot cold stuff like that my set my said he thought he said it, he can make it work even though i don't think it'll work you, you know you're, you're already set on your mind with this other guy so i'm like if they want to make the relationship work or not and maybe i could have done better on my part you know i i made mistakes not, not i'm not i'm not gonna say that i didn't make any mistakes i made a lot of mistakes and, and that's because i wasn't used to the dating scene so lesson learned you know but at the same time i not feeling too bad about it you know even though it got ghosted but then like she came back weirdest part you know it's just like she missed the time that we hanged out in discord at night you know i'm like oh that's interesting you know so i, I get like mixed feelings a lot of the times with this person i'm not sure like it doesn't make any sense sometimes i'm like it's it's in the past now it is what it is there's another story with this airbnb but i wasn't planning to go and that's another day i'm probably going to talk about because that was a long trip i'm not saying it was bad but i just felt like i was working the whole time because i wasn't planning to go to this trip so yeah i got ghosted by this girl maybe one day i'll find the person there's someone out there for me eventually hopefully maybe not now or later but be quite interesting oh there's the last one if i find you know find someone you know this it, it is what it is right now so it's a story and a doozy you know well this one's kind of like a bad negative experience but you know it's a story at least i told it and you know, share my experience and i i know i'm not the first person that's gone through kind of something simpler than that you know so it's just this is, that's pretty much what happened to me so yeah that's the story when i got ghosted you know and i'll never forget those three names vivian zoe and and uh frank i think his name was frank i pretty sure i might be thinking of the pug because the we have a pug and it's my roommate's pug and his name is frank too so maybe i just maybe it is maybe it's not i'm not i'm not sure so <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in another video with another story.